Hello folks, Rob Myers again, Mercedes-Benz of Arrowhead, and I'm so excited today to talk to you about the brand new, pretty 2017 AMG GTS version. This vehicle, as you can see, is featured here in the Solar Beam Yellow Metallic. Uh, this is a specialty paint, it's a beautiful color. Um, and this one has the 19 inch wheels in the front, 20 inch wheels in the rear, so it's a staggered wheel configuration. Um, we're gonna talk a little bit of, in detail about this vehicle today. So one of the features about having a vehicle like this is very important feature is brakes. So we're gonna talk a little bit about the brakes in this car. In the rear of the vehicle, this is a 14.2 inch uh, single uh, piston caliper in the back here uh, with the slotted in cross steel brakes for uh, obviously for ventilation uh, with the 20 inch wheel. This is a 29530 uh, ZR20 in the back. And as we move a little bit forward here, I wanna talk a little bit about the uh, carbon fiber package as well. This has the exterior carbon fiber package, which we're going to highlight some more of that in a minute. If you come up to the front of the vehicle, this has the 15.4 inch uh, brake with a six piston caliper with the 19 inch wheels here in the front. Beautiful vehicle. As you can see, it has the AMG black wheels on it. Uh, very nice. This is an optional feature, but very, very nice. I'll talk to you a little bit about this massive engine in here. Oh yeah, look at that. So this vehicle comes with the four liter V8. The gentleman's name, this is a hand-built engine, of course, it's an AMG, so his name is Orphan. And he is the gentleman who put this vehicle together, this engine together. Uh, this is a four liter V8 with 503 horsepower, 469, 479 foot-pounds of torque, as well as a zero to 60 time that Mercedes says is 3.7 seconds. So it's a lot of horsepower in this vehicle. So here we are, folks, inside. Uh, the beautiful AMG GTS. And I, I wanted to point out some of the features in, t in the, the interior of this vehicle. Uh, as you can notice here, this is the chrome uh, center console here with the carbon fiber, gloss carbon fiber uh, insert. This vehicle is available in a piano black finish as well as a matte carbon fiber insert as well. And as you can see here, it looks kind of like a cockpit, all the different buttons, and we're going to go over those buttons with you. Um, this has the exclusive leather uh, package interior with the uh, Dynamica package with the yellow piping all the way through to kind of accent the car's uh, exterior yellow, co yellow color. Alcantara, a full Alcantara steering wheel here with the yellow stitching as well. Paddle shifting, um, air vents here, the 8.4 inch screen. This car has a rear camera so when you back it up you can see it. Um, and then we have of course the touch pad and then the central controller as well. This here is the shifter. You can just click it left and right. Uh, I mean, I'm sorry, up and down and then push the park. And then also as an AMG, you know, usual in AMG, we have the Alfalter Bach pressed logo here in the center console. And then in, so inside of here is their storage. And it is a Mercedes and it is a comfortable car. So it does have, you know, your features of USB ports and an SD card as well for um, MP3s you can put on there and pop that in as well. So we're gonna uh, give you a little bit more information about the car when we take it out. Alrighty, here we are inside the beautiful AMG GTS. I'm gonna do a little test drive in the vehicle and talk to you a little bit about some of the features in this vehicle. This is a nice car. Um, it's sporty. This is Mercedes's answer, if you will, to the, there are, Porsche 911, this is kind of a, our car going head to head with that classic car. Um, this is a wonderful car. It's a great daily driver. And one of the nice things about this vehicle is um, it's a Mercedes, which means it's comfortable, it's luxurious, it's sporty. Um, this car is an AMG, so as you guys know, we've talked about before, this car has a lot of horsepower, 503 horsepower. It's a great daily driver, comfortable, um, good headroom. I'm about six foot two, so I have a lot of room in here. A um, couple things to talk about in this vehicle is, as you can see, this is like the Starship Enterprise here with all of these buttons. But again, it's a Mercedes. So one of the nice features is to my right here, the button here is the engine uh, start and stop function button. So as you know, you can just push this button to deactivate it um, if you don't want it. But when the car comes to a complete stop at traffic lights or stop signs, the vehicle will shut itself off and that will save uh, gas for around town. So this is a great feature for you customers who are concerned about fuel economy. Now this is a, a 500 horsepower engine, so most of the time when you're in a vehicle like this, you're not too concerned about engine horsepower. 
Um, the other feature on this vehicle is the modes, the different modes for the uh, comfort mode, the sport mode, and the sport plus mode to give the engine um, a little bit more responsiveness. I'm driving it right now in comfort mode. Um, and again, safety features. This car has great safety features. So when you hit it for comfort mode, let's get on it a little bit. You can see how it's a good daily driver. It's solid on the road. The Alcantara steering wheel is, feels pretty comfortable in my hands here, but we're gonna turn the corner here and go a little bit. The vehicle here has the engine start and stop button. This is your traction control button. And then this is the adjustable uh, suspension button. So you can have a comfort suspension or sports suspension simply by pushing the button. So we'll put it, and right now I'm in AMG suspension sport mode. So this tightens up the suspension a little bit for a little stiffer ride, a little bit more better performance. So I'm gonna get on it a little bit. You can listen to the engine growl. One of the cool features about this vehicle is it has, and we're gonna play around with it, I'm gonna show you how that works. We have a exhaust note. So there's a two stage button here. You can push it and change the sound of the exhaust. Very nice, climate control buttons are here. Touch pad is here. And this is how you turn on the command unit here. So I'm gonna turn that on for you so you can see it. But I like this too, the, the uh, rear view mirror has a compass, so we're going north here. It's just pretty comfortable. Great daily driver. We're gonna come up here, I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna pull up here in the parking lot and show you how easy it is to maneuver. Set up really nice. So with the touchpad, as you guys know, you can swipe it with your finger so that it, not, it doesn't distract you from your driving. You can still see the road, you can still be able to turn your radio stations. Set up your navigation system right from the touchpad, or you can use the controller, which is kind of what I do. I, when I drive, I mostly use the controller. I'm gonna turn up in here. Other nice feature I wanna point out, this vehicle does have the blind spot assist. So the blind spot assist is on and activated. It has the yellow triangle so that you know that the system is on. If somebody were to pull into my blind spot, uh, the triangles would turn red, indicating that someone was there. I hit my turn signal, it will beep to let me know not to get over. I can control the radio controls here for the volume, turn it down with the minus button and turn it up with the plus button. I love the multifunction steering wheel because it allows you to kind of control everything from the vehicle uh, with your thumbs. So I'm gonna go up this way. And we're now in, I'm gonna put this car in Sport Plus mode and the suspension's already in Sport Plus. I'm just gonna get on it so you can hear what it sounds like. And as you can see, it, it's growling. I mean, it's, this is a beautiful car. It's instant throttle response. You can hear the car. It's very tight. And it begs to be driven hard. That's, that's one thing about the car. This is a performance car. Uh, this is everything that you would want in a performance car. Power, comfort, safety features. This vehicle is just like a Mercedes vehicle. It's con it comes with the Collision Prevention Assist Plus system which at low speeds, up to about 30 miles an hour, the vehicle will stop itself. It's a wonderful feature. Um, and I just love driving it. I think it's, it's, a, it's a great car. Now, let's be clear, it's not like driving an S550 or even an E-Class for that matter. This, this is a true performance sports car. And that's the wonderful thing about Mercedes. With a Mercedes, well, we have something for every buyer. You know, We have our small vehicles for people who are just starting off. Uh, we have vehicles for families in our seven passenger GLS, which that vehicle can go off road. And then we have cars like this. This is a great car. So we're gonna come up here to a, a light here and just watch how the car just brakes itself. It just kind of slows down a little bit. This car is equipped with the Distronic Plus system. As many of you know, that is the adaptive cruise system. Uh, you can set the distance between the, this car and the vehicle in front of you up to about 320 feet. And then this vehicle will slow itself down and stop if necessary. It, it, that's a great system. I use it mostly when I'm on a freeway. If I'm on a trip, unless I'm going to California or something like that, I'll turn it on and use it. I don't use it around town as much, but you certainly could do that. Come here to a light. Climate controls are here, it's very, very nice. So we'll go ahead and turn now. Give me a turn. I mean, it's screaming. It's a, it's 
a wonderful car. Very, very nice. Mercedes, uh, kudos to you. They did a really good job of giving customers who are high-performance high customers uh, a, a daily driver. And this is what I bring up to the Ferrari guys and the Lamborghini guys. This car is a daily driver. This car you can get in every day, drive it to work, drive it around town on the weekends, take it out on the freeway, open it up, and really enjoy the vehicle. We'll come in here. This car has the uh, seven-speed dual-clutch transmission. So it's very nice. You know, shifts very quickly, very responsive back here at the dealership. I love this car, and you will too. Come on out, and uh, we can take it out for a test drive and talk a little bit about this car. There's so many features on this vehicle. Um, the, you know, we could spend a lot of time talking about this car. There's a lot of things about it, but the heart of it is, this is a great daily driver and a great performance sports car. Uh, very comfortable, and at its price point, it's one of the better bargains out there. Let me pull right here in the front. I want to show you how this exhaust note works. So, when you park this vehicle, there's a push button, park button right here. So, I'm going to go ahead and push that. I'm going to put it in park. So, this button here is highlighted because I'm in Sport Plus mode, so it automatically turns it on. So, what we're going to do is we're going to push it. And as you notice, the sound, the dBs of the, of the exhaust went down a little lower. We're going to push it again to show you again. So, you growl there. See that? So, when you turn it, to comfort mode, the system automatically returns the exhaust to normal level. So it's a great car. I'm Rob Myers. Come on down and take a look at this vehicle. All right, folks. Rob Myers again here at Mercedes Benz Arrowhead. That was fun. We took out the GTS, got to see inside of it, talk a little bit about the features, the colors. There's so much more to this car than I could talk about. Now I could talk about this car all day. So I suggest coming down, seeing me, ask for me, Rob Myers, come on down. Let's take a look at the car. Let's talk a little bit about it. We're here at Mercedes-Benz Rivero Head in Peoria, Arizona. Thank you so much for your time. Appreciate it.